It's a, such a dense and complex um, uh, thing to want to, to talk about. What is it about the book that what made you want to uh, venture into this 90-minute movie? Well, I, I read the book and it really was eye-opening for me. It was really eye-opening how racist ideas are really disseminated through popular culture and how they you know, just infect our minds. And even as, black, as a black person, how I thought, I believed these racist ideas myself. Mm. And so when I, it was like, I was like transformed from reading the book and I was like, oh my God, I've got to make a film about this. Yeah. Uh, up until then, had you uh, at all read much about the sort of race theory or anything like that? Like, say, going back to Franz Fanon and the Wretched of the Earth or things like that? We ever... didn't get, you know, where I grew up and in in my education, we didn't get a lot of race theory. We didn't, I didn't, no, I hadn't read a lot about that. I, um, you know, I consume a lot of popular culture, yeah. you know, a lot of t television shows that had a lot of racist ideas about yeah. black people. But um, that's why the book was so transformative for me. Um, and uh, and it was, you know, I, it, it changed the way I saw myself. Yeah. Can we talk about the film itself and how it looks sort of about the sort of the, the VFX and all the stuff that you use to represent what you really mean? Um, talk us through uh, the decision to go that way and not more sort of a realistic kind of... Uh, um, uh, I want the viewer to bring their own, you know, imagination to to the, you know, so... What we what I did was um, they're actors on a green screen stage and um, they are painted in the artist art the artistic style of the period of the time period, and um, but it, it's layered and with some with archive and um, and you know all these different sort of elements uh, th and then and then needle drop sort of popular music um, so that you could realize how much. Things haven't changed, so you so it you know flashes forward in time, um, but also um, I didn't want to be. It's not a you know, it's not a period piece where you. It's it's more like the idea. So what what each of those each of the nine chapters, mm -hmm. it's about really focusing on the racist idea and how it's morphed over time. Mm -hmm. So it's a concept that you bring your own you know your own understanding and your own creativity so it wasn't about being very literal especially with the um animations with like you know phyllis wheatley or or um, harry jacobs or ida b wells mm -hmm. um it was about a, an emotional feeling mm. How does one go about making a film whilst involving the author, but still having your own vision and you're you're bringing something new to the book? Because anyone can go out there and read the book, but it feels as though there is a stamp, a personal stamp on there from you as well. Yeah. How does that? How do you approach that with a doctor with a, the, the the original text? Uh, doctor Kendi really was. Um, he's like, this is a different medium. He was very hands off. He let me interpret his work, and he gave, he trusted me, and he gave me the room to create what some, you know, my interpretation of, mm -hmm. of for a visual medium. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, it's daunting because it's a five hundred and forty something page book. Mm -hmm. It's a very dense work. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's daunting, so it's a process to 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 interpret to change that and to interpret that for a visual medium. But it was also like really fun, and he just let me let me let me. He just gave me the freedom to do it. I can I ask maybe a pertinent question, which is, who do you think this film is for? Is it for people of color who to sort of recognize themselves? in a study, or is it for the general sort of audience, like a, people it, of I any think, color? Yeah, I think it's for everyone because, you know, that was the, the, the challenge handed to me by um, Netflix. Uh, you know, Netflix is 
the biggest streaming platform in the world, yeah. uh, 250 million, you know, people around the world. And so how do I make this accessible but without diluting it? Yeah. You know, that was the challenge. And I love a challenge. Yeah. Was it hard to sort of condense such a rich text into just 90 minutes? Were there things that you took out that you wish you had kept? Um, it is very hard mm. to do. It is a process, a, a long and challenging and difficult creative process. Uh, are there things I left out that I wish were there? You know, there were, but once I sort of really put it together in the flow of it, I'm very happy with where we are and I don't miss those things. You know, I think directing is often about letting go of things. A lot, a lot of times a directors hold on too much to something and, and that, can, that can hurt the storytelling. So it was about, it's about letting go and letting and feeling the emotion of the, 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 the flow and the ebb and flow. Someone said it was like, these sort of mountains and valleys, um, and and that's really really what I what I always strive for. What did you learn from making the film, and what did you learn from w working so closely with Dr. Kendi? Um, I learned to trust my creative voice as a director, and um, and I learned from Dr. Kendi to. Uh, love myself as a black person, a black oh, American. That is actually a really wonderful thing to <laughs> end things on. And thank you so much for your time and thanks for such a, a wonderful movie. Thank you. Thank thanks. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys!